Okay, welcome to a flash talk about the development of the Atlas liquid argon carbometer reader electronics for the high luminosity LHC. So quick reminder, so in the upper left, you can see a picture of the carbometer in Atlas. Uh, there are two carbometer systems. I focus on the liquid argon component and the detector itself, it will stay for the high luminosity LHC as it's expected to operate well during the full time of the high luminosity LHC. What is updated is the, the full readout component. Um, readout is characterized by high linearity and low noise. And the Atlas liquid arm colorimeter readout electronics uh, will be basically upgraded to meet the new TDAC buffering requirements and stand the high expected radiation doses at the high luminosity LHC. Um, you can see here on the right side in the schematics <clears throat> in orange, uh, that's the trigger readout path. This is already updated now. And for the high luminosity LHC, it's this blue part. So the main readout, which will be updated. Uh, concerning the data path, so uh, the conventional parameter cells, uh, the pulse is there. They, they come to the front end board. And uh, yeah, the signals are amplified and shaped by analog electronics or dynamic range of 16 bits. And then uh, the pulses are digitized with a high precision and the sampled signals are sent uh, off the detector at 40 megahertz. And there uh, FPGAs, which are connected for high speed links, calculate the energy and the time. Uh, reduced data uh, is then sent at, with low latency to the first level trigger system, while in the meantime, the full data is buffered. Um, on detectors, there are several components. There are two separate boards, calibration board and the front end board. I have two. Calibration board uh, provides uh, pulses of known amplitude and shape. And the front end board contains uh, all the specific radiation tolerant uh, ASICs which are developed. So the preamplified shaper, the ADC, and also layer some board, uh, which is relevant for the interface to the trigger readout path. And off detector, the, the data processing on, on the so-called LASP and the control and timing functions on the LATS board uh, are realized by, by two dedicated boards, which are connected through ATCA crates. So in the poster, you will get more results, uh, test results and design studies of the prototypes and how the updated readout system will also help to improve, uh, for example, the Higgs measurements. And if you want to know more about that, you're invited to join me at the poster session. <laughs>